Welcome back, my friends. Today is an impromptu video on creating a text with a photo embedded in letter frames, but then popping out of those letters. So let's get started. So I have already got my workspace um, ready and I've already picked out a picture. I'm going to make a duplicate of this picture and I'm just going to set it aside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the background of this photo here of only one of the photos. And I'm just going to leave that there for now. Um, I'm just going to move this to the side as well up here. Grab some letters and because I've got a long word. I think I'm going to just use some narrow letter frames. Okay, so I'm just going to grab those and see if I can align them uh, evenly. Oops. Okay, and just going to see if I can maybe align them up here like that. Okay, so now I'm going to grab this and I'm going to make um, One, two, three, four, five, six copies. Okay, and I'm going to start by putting it, this one in here. And I'm just going to make it large, as large as the space. And I take the second one and again double click. And I'm going to make it as large as the space. Okay, and now I'm going to grab this uh, photo here. Now, to avoid it coming into the frames, what you'll want to do is you'll just want to grab it and hold it by the side. Uh, but for now, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And now because I know that I did make it bigger, um, while I was in the frame, I'm just going to try and align it that way. But keep your... So what you want to do is you want to just grab and expand the photo until it actually overlaps. your design. Now, obviously that doesn't look very good. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and bring it up like, like that. So let's see if we can go back into the picture and kind of move up the picture so that it matches with the original picture with the background removed. 
and let's see how that looks. Okay. Now let's do the same with this one. We'll do the same with this one. We'll do the same with this one. do the same with this one. Okay. Um, okay. That fiddling around to get used to it, but you get the idea. Okay, that looks pretty good. I guess the easiest thing for us to do would be to take a copy of the letters minus the bird so I'm going to deselect that and we can download that as a PNG transparent and then we're going to upload it back into Canva. So let me just grab that and print, put it here. Okay, so here that is here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that in behind uh, and match it up. Try and match it up perfectly and we're going to apply a shadow on that. Um, we're going to do an outline. We're going to do it white. And we're going to do it um, thick. A thick border. Well, let's see what that looks like. Okay, let's go back into position and I want to bring this in on top of the parrots, but below the fonts. So I'm just going to grab it and I'm just going to try and handle it by the side. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to try and handle it by the side. I'm just going to go back into um, edit photo, back into shadows, and I'm just going to reduce the size just a little bit. There. There. And so that's how we created the word with a, an image pop out of letter frames. All right, so now if we apply a colored background, like, um, I don't know, let's see what's available here. Um, you can see the outline ar around the um, frame uh, and the birds that are popping out of the letters. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, my friends, bye-bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to receive updates of when new content comes out. Thanks for joining.